What's up, Felix? Uh, How you doing? Can you tell us yeah. where we are and what we're doing? We're in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. We're uh, waiting for our uh, flight at 11:30 uh, uh, a.m. Um, it's a pretty exciting time with the boys, you know, it's bonding. Yeah. And uh, we're looking for a smoothie place. To, what do you, you think? Know, get a little bit of fruits. You see any? Uh, no. Well, I mean, I think. We're oh, in the right we got place. lots of stuff. Sit, Jim. What are you up to right now? Yeah, you know, I was twitching a lot on that last flight, but. Uh, me and Feely just, uh, you know, we got our shoes polished by this guy from Libya. Real really? nice guy. Goes to UMBC. Uh, fun fact. But besides that, just looking to get on this flight and get going. Yeah, you a little nervous? I hear you're not a good flyer. No, anything over an hour is just not my uh, forte. Yeah, so four hours is going to be a little tough. <laughs> four is not my, uh, no, not good. That's all right. You'll be all right, right? <laughs> I'm going to hold your you shoes. Your shoes look good, though, at least. Huh? They're so black. Yeah? I love them. That's good. Black mamba. Thanks, Jim. No problem. Hey, good luck. Good luck on the flight. We'll, we'll make sure you you survived it, right? Hey, yeah. Danny, how do, you, how do you feel about Canadians? I feel like they're uh, very liberal. Um, they, they don't have their stuff right. You know, I think that uh, they have people do it for them, like Josh. He asked me to do everything for him, but I don't. So. Yeah, this is a pretty typical know? battle, huh? A little Canadian-American battle, you Josh? You know Like, I'm just tired of it. An obnoxious American just trying to attack my country every day. I can't deal with it. He's my roommate, but, like, at one point, he's going to get it. And, uh, you know, what comes around is all around. Yeah. <laughs> so, you guys usually have pretty good socks with your suit. You have a pretty good sock game. Can we check those out right now? Average today. Average. It's usually pretty good though. Where do, you, where do you guys usually go to get those socks? Um, you know, they're usually stocking stuffers. Yeah. yeah so I don't good. really yeah. know where to get them. Yeah, so maybe guys. so with Christmas coming up, <laughs> you might have some more coming. Yeah, I asked Santa, but I don't know if I'll get them. I haven't been the greatest little boy. No, I've been naughty this year. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh -oh. After traveling from Buffalo to Baltimore. The Golden Griffins got on a four-hour flight to Denver, Colorado, about an hour away from the United States Air Force Academy. Travels, huh? Yeah. Finally got here. Very long day, but it's looking good outside. You can see the mountain range, so that's it. It's nice. We're roomed up. We're paired up together this weekend, huh? Oh yeah, five twenty-five. Yeah, gonna be fun. You feeling the altitude yet? No, nope. I don't feel it yet. Uh, we will soon. How's your day going so far? Had run um, into a little troubles at the airport. Yeah, we were just talking about it. Um, thanks for bringing it up again, but yeah, I don't. I know it's a sore subject. I was having a good day, and then get here in Colorado. 
Denver, and they lost my hockey bag. So yeah. now I gotta wait till tonight or tomorrow morning to get it back. Hopefully, um, they said they maybe lost in Baltimore or something. So yeah, that's a bad feeling. Bad huh? start, but bad start to the trip. But oh yeah. Hey, it's only up from here, right? Exactly. That's it. We got a good view. Nice hotel room. Good view of the mountains. <laughs> All the boys here at the hotel waiting to go to the rink. Been a long day for Jeff Murray. He's taking a quick power nap. Traffic is a natural ice. environment, assuming the fetal position. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I think he's passed out pretty good. Danny's going to play a little prank on him here. <laughs> All right, Jeff's up and awake and ready to go now. How's it going, Jeff? You a little tired? Yeah, a little tired. Heading to, head to the rink now, getting ready for the pregame skate. Uh, guy's playing pranks on me while I was asleep there, but I'll be able to get him back. It's been a long day of travel, huh? James, how many? 22. Oh, no. 22! Jimmy, looks like Jimmy survived the, the plane ride. Were you sitting near him on the plane? Yeah, it's on the trip to Baltimore. He was right across from me, and yeah. he was freaking out a fair amount, panicking when we hit out of turbulence. On day two in Colorado Springs, the Griffs fall into their usual routine. It's game day, and after breakfast, the team buses to the rink for their morning skate. Sebby, how are you feeling this morning? Uh, I'm feeling good. You know, this high altitude got me a little high on life. That's it. Oh boy. Murray, you ready to skate? Oh uh, yeah, I gotta get the legs going. That's it. Back at the hotel here with Dylan McLaughlin. How you doing, Dylan? Good. How about you, Forrest? Good. How was the uh, morning skate? Yeah, it was good. I get the legs going, you know. Yeah, you ready to go? Ready? Oh, yeah. Excited for today? Super excited. How's the trip been so far? It's been good. Nice uh, scenery out there. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about yourself a little bit. What Myself? year are you? Yeah. Uh, Where are you from? I'm from Buffalo. Uh, I was born in 1995, and I'm 20 years old. There you go. Yeah. Freshman. Freshman. That's it. How's Kanisha so far? It's been awesome. Yeah? Who's yeah. your roommate? Uh, Cameron Heath. Tell us a little about him. How is Peter, it? Peter is very, uh, very picky about his food. That's about it. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's a particular sort of guy. Here he's got a little OCD about some stuff. Yeah. Z, how you doing? How's your day going? Not too bad. Just got back from skate, so it's been going pretty good. Good. Tell us a little about yourself. What do you do for the team? So I'm the athletic trainer. So in terms of sports medicine, I help with rehab, getting guys onto the ice, keeping them on the ice, and you know, take care of them, keep them safe at the same time. That's during it. The games. What do you, Josh Kulik, does he do a good job? You think? Best there is, best in the league. That's it. Now, uh, what, where are you from? I'm from Hamburg, New York, so just south of the city. Um, went to Canisius for undergrad, and then went to Marshall University for grad school. And my first job out of uh, school was at St. Lawrence University. Nice. And How do you like I being back? Good, good. I enjoy being back in Buffalo. Yeah. Where I'm from, the city I love. So yeah. that's good. Good question for you. Who do you, who do you think's the neediest guy on the team? Oh, Murray, without a doubt. <laughs> Jeff Murray. He takes the crown. Do we have a second place? Uh, maybe. Um, <laughs> no way. That's no. No. Way. no. 
No, Shane's up there too. Shane, Shane, Shane gets uh, help from uh, Mike J a lot, so that's why. Yeah. Well, so coming from uh, Josh Kulik and I, a couple American guys, it's, it seems like the uh, the Canadian guys are up there on the list. No, it's oh, always yeah. the OJ guys. It's the oh, OJ guys the that are o- soft guys. Oh, really? Yeah. So if you play juniors in Ontario mm-hmm. Junior Hockey League, then you come to Canisius a little soft. Yeah, the OJ guys are usually the softer ones. I don't really see any of the uh, U.S. guys or the uh, CC guys out there. Or the That's it. So, Josh Cook, you're an OJ guy. What do you think about that? <laughs> you know, I, I tend to disagree with that a little bit. Questions so, uh, Eddie, what tell us, what did you do for a little pregame ritual here before a meal? Um, well, it's getting close to finals, so I had to do some homework and then uh, had a nice little 30-minute nap, and then we got changed, and now we're on our way to our meal. Have nice. a quick, uh, have a quick meeting for our game. Get ready mentally. So. Nice. I know a lot of guys nap. I know I took a nap. Do you always nap or? No, I'm not. I'm not always the biggest napper. If anything, I like quick 20 minutes or something like that. But I find napping makes me a little bit more tired for the game. So I guess it's just everyone's personal preference, what they like. Yeah, definitely. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, let's have a good meal here. In the first meeting of the year between the Griffs and the Falcons, Riley Turner would keep the game close by stopping 15 out of 16 shots as it would be 1-0 Air Force after the first period. Air Force would then take a 2-0 lead in the second period but the Griffs would respond, scoring just two minutes and 38 seconds later, as Cameron Heath would net his second of the year. Conacher is tied up. He'll now win that battle, and he'll feed Kudemi in over the line. Kudemi will send one out in front, and Schmelzer couldn't connect on that pass. There's a shot, and they score! Air Force would use a third-period goal, however, to regain the lead and to eventually win the game 3-2. to two. 